to see how she would like to respond to these demands and address uh, residents of Davenport. Uh, thank you so much, uh, thank you for Davenport. I just want to say uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for keeping this peaceful. Um, and thank you for letting me say to you. Uh, and, uh, look, I think you, it's important for me to be uh, hearing from you, for, for me to be listening to you. I have been uh, returning emails and returning phone calls, and I want to make sure that I was here to say that I'm here, I'm listening, I know that you're here, and that I'm responding. I think most of you have seen that last week uh, Canada put out another statement. We put out that statement in conjunction with Australia and with New Zealand. And what I want to do is read two parts of that statement because this is what I 100% believe. What are you doing on the ground to actually implement so the statement? So, what, what I'm going, going to do is read the other than read uh, the I statement. I listen to you very patiently off on the side, and I'm wondering if you we've guys can give me a couple read of the, minutes. We've read the statement already. We unequivocally condemn no. Hamas's terrorist attack on Israel on October 7th. No. 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 by those attacks. We also demand the unconditional release of all remaining hostages. We do recognize Israel's and the right to defend itself. But in defending itself, Israel must We are alarmed at the diminishing safe space of civilians in Gaza. The price of the city Hamas cannot be the continuous suffering of all Palestinians. Are you going to call for an arms We are remain deeply concerned by the scale of the humanitarian crisis of Gaza and all the rest of all Palestinians in Gaza. Not in the name of God! Not in the name of Support urgent international efforts towards a sustainable ceasefire. This cannot be one sided. Hamas must release all hostages. and the reoccupation of Gaza, any reduction in territory and any use of siege or blockade. We emphasize that Gaza must no longer be used as a platform for terrorism. We reaffirm that settlements are illegal under, inter under international law. Settlements and social rights are serious obstacles to negotiating truth and solution. We recommit ourselves to working with partners towards a just and enduring peace in the form of a two-state solution where Israelis and Palestinians can live securely within internationally recognized borders. We condemn anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and anti-Arab sentiment in our countries and around the world, and we remain firmly committed to combating prejudice, hatred, and extremism. I will respond to a couple of things that we I want to mention one of the questions that have come up as I call back out of for residents is why the Israel supply in arms. I want to answer the question about whether we are supplying arms to Israel right now. I have personally, I'm on record here, you guys, I've personally asked our government, I have personally asked our Minister of National Defense whether we are supplying any type of material or arms to Israel right now. He's indicated. No, zero, zero, nothing. There was a statement that was made that was true. In 2022, we did supply a number of countries with arms and with materials, but that is not happening for the current case. I do want to let you know that. We are working very hard on a two-state solution. It is what we are working on right now, and we believe in that. And the other thing we're working very hard is on trying to get more humanitarian aid into Gaza. I really I do want to let you know that we are presenting for reference to one of the questions. I am happy to be meeting with you. 
Have you said that? Uh, I want to say thank you. I've heard you. I've listened to you. And I thank you very much. As I said, I'm happy to be responding and having We want justice, you say how. Thank you. We want justice, you say how. And the seat on my side now. And the seat on my side now. We want justice, you say how. We want justice, you say how. And the seat on Repeating that we've kept this peaceful, we have kept it peaceful for over 70 days. We have kept it 